Okay, we're up to book five. I made a mistake there. That should be a five. That's uh, copy and paste it from last week. See, this is what happens when you don't check all your things. So that should be a five. And we're up to, who can say this? Let's have to give it a shot. Zephy, can you say that? Nice and loud. <laughs> That's the second one. All right, Matea. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Can we say that together? Deuteronomy. That's again. Deuteronomy. Yeah, it's a long one, isn't it? How many syllables is that? Deuteronomy. Five. Five syllables. How many words do you know that are five syllables? Well, now you know one more. Deuteronomy. Okay, and this is the second. Why is it called Deuteronomy? Because this is the second time Moses gave the law to the people after they wandered through the wilderness. They're about to go into the promised land. Moses is giving them the law the second time to remind them because when they went through the wilderness, the first generation died, the second generation got old, and now they're going into the promised land. And we get a very important lesson in Deuteronomy which starts off, hey, what is the law all about? What do you think the law is all about? There's a hint on there. What do you think it's all about? Simon. Love thy God. Love, that's right. It's all about loving God. So we have a very famous verse in Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 6, verse 4 to 5. Hear, O Israel. So what is that saying? It's saying, listen up. Pay attention. I know Israel is talking about God's people, all the believers. Hear, O Israel, look at this. The Lord, our God, is one Lord. Right? We believe in one God, don't we? And thou shalt love the Lord, look at this, thy God. Notice that. Love the Lord, thy God. Do you know what the word thy means? What do you think? <laughs> you just like putting your hand up, don't you? <laughs> Lord, thy God. Thy means you. 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 Right? That's what the word thy means. So when it says, love the Lord, thy God, what does it mean? It means, is, is it your God? Is it your personal God? Not mom and dad's God, you, you. No, but your God. Shh, hey, you've got to sit quietly. So you need to love the Lord, thy God. Hey, is God personal to you? Is he your God? Or is he mum and dad's God? You know, do you come to church because you want to come to church? Or do you come to church because mum and dad bring you to church? Do you come to, do you know Jesus as your saviour, your personal saviour? As opposed to, oh, that's what mummy and daddy believe in. We need to make sure it's our God, not just mum and dad's God. Look at this. With all thine heart, with all thy soul and with all thy might. So this is how we are to love God. Eyes up here, kids. Eyes up here. This is how we are to love God. With all our heart, with all our soul, and with all our might. So God gives us a lesson in how to love him. And we're meant to love him with everything we are. Now how do we love God with all our heart? Think about the things you love. Who loves chocolate? Who gets excited about toys? New toys? Not everyone. What about new clothing? When you get a new dress or something? You know that excitement you get, that passion you get? That's how God wants you to love Him. So when we love God with our heart, what do you, what do you think about? You know, what are you passionate about? What, do you, what, what drives you? That is loving God with all your heart. Okay? Think about something you really love. God is meant to be in that place. So we love God with all our heart, with all our soul. Well, how do you love God with all your soul? Do you know? Well, your soul is who you are, isn't it? Okay? So when we love God with all our soul, what do we do? We're identifying with God. It's when you tell people, hey, I'm a Christian. 
You're not ashamed to be a Christian. You identify with Jesus Christ and you're not ashamed of him. This is how we love God with all our soul. So we love God with all our heart, what we love, what we're emotional about. We love God with all our soul, who we are. And what's the last one? With all thy might. Remember that song we sing? My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. See? So what does that mighty mean? Mighty means strength, our strength. So remember we talked about serving God with our heart. That's what we think about. That's what we care about. We love God with all our soul, who we are. How do we love God with all our might? It's, how, it's the work that we do, don't we? So sometimes you guys come early, help put out the chairs. That's how you're loving God with your might, your strength. You know, sometimes you help put out the sign. Sometimes you help clean up. This is how we love God with all our might. You know, sometimes you go, sometimes you come soul winning with your parents. That's hard work, isn't it? You know, going out there, knocking the doors, telling people about Jesus. This is how we love God with all our might. And God loved us with all his heart, soul, and might. And we're commanded to do the same back to him. Okay, so now you learned a little bit about love. Now you know this verse. Deuteronomy, you want to read it together? You ready? Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4 and 5. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy might. See, you can remember it. With all your heart. Can we go like this? Heart? How do we do soul? I think like this. Oh, our whole body. You know? Our heart. All our soul. <laughs> and all our... <laughs> no, all our might. <laughs> all your might. Oh, okay. So today, we've got a craft for you. Do we have an example? Ooh. What we got here? Look at this. Ah, look at this. I'm going to make little crosses and decorate them. See, what does it say here? Thou shalt love the Lord with all thine heart, all thy soul, with all thy might.